What's up everyone, I'm Dulex and I'm gonna show you this 1986 RV that I built on a TV show last year with a group of strangers. Come on inside. I'm here to film for season two of Gutted, but this was the rig that I built in season one and it's still here. It turns out that the engine is not actually running right now, so they can't do anything with it. So I decided to do a tour. Up in the front, we've got the classic captain seats with this huge steering wheel this is super retro super old school but this thing is pretty cool we didn't really do much up here in the front we just tried to make it look nicer and we redid the walls put some carpet on the floor to make it a little bit more comfortable but the cool stuff is really in the back right behind the driver's seat is this couch slash desk slash extra bed area. And this area was really inspired by my first ever converting bed that I made and also a bunch of new ideas for my teammates. Table that folds up in a very cool shape. It's gonna slide out and become a guest bed and it's gonna look real good. This table actually folds back and goes behind the cushions. Then the seat that I'm sitting on can pull out and flip over to become a twin size mattress. On this side of the RV, this is the main kitchen section. This is a three foot by two foot copper sink and the faucet has a retractable sprayer with two different spraying modes. Right next to that is a propane stove and oven combo. This thing is really cool because it has a glass portion that gives you extra counter space when you're not using it. And then when you are using it, you just fold it back and then you can put your pots and pans right on there and start using it. Right here, I actually built a double drawer, kind of like the one in my truck. So the first part comes out and then the second section comes out. The idea was that this part was gonna be a cutting board up here with some uh, storage down here and here as well with a spice rack down at the bottom. Directly behind that is the bed and shower area. We put a bunch of the components that you need in here, like the water and propane and stuff. All that stuff is under the bed because there was really nowhere else for us to put it. And that's kind of where they had it when we were building the van. So we decided to put all that stuff in the same spot and cover it up with this bed. On the ceiling, we made these cool slats with a black background and some lights that go around it. And at night you can turn it on and have sort of a stargazing experience while you're laying down in bed. Right here in this back corner, this is where the shower is gonna go. So wow. The shower pan's right there. It's gonna be going in this spot here. Dang. Uh, toilet's gonna be over here somewhere, so I'm just going cedar up this whole wall. Back here is the bathroom area. We've got a sink here. There was supposed to be a toilet here, but we never actually got it in because we didn't have time. And then we have a shower there with all cedar walls throughout the entire room. We also put a vent fan in here just for fuming purposes and a butcher block shelf. Back out here, this is my favorite part of the build. This is the remainder of the kitchen. We just have some drawers and stuff here. There's a fridge inside here with more storage in the bottom. But what's cool about this is that this fridge cabinet is also actually a step. So you step here, then you step on the counter and then we put a secret hatch up here. So you can open up this hatch and go straight up to the roof 
straight through these steps. Up on the roof, we made a huge roof deck and put down two 185 watt solar panels. We ran lights under the roof deck so that it looks like it's floating at night and you can have parties up there if you want to. We also welded a ladder onto the back of the RV to make it safer to get up and down from the outside. So there you go, that's the tour of the RV that I built on a TV show last year in five days with a group of strangers. I think the build could have been a lot better but I'm just impressed that we got it finished in those five days. So just imagine what you could do without being under pressure like that. Thank you guys for watching this video all the way to the end, and I'll see you next time. Later.